Welcome everybody to Mix Cocktail Hour. I am Scott Cushman. I am here today doing the introduction. Uh, and when I'm doing the introduction, we know what has happened. Tammy has been kidnapped. I don't know where she is. She is not here today, uh, but she will be back very soon. But holding it down for us here today, we have brought in uh, a guy that has been uh, following our show for a little bit. Uh, we want to do, uh, I want to introduce you guys to our friend, Sir Mix-a-Lot. It is I. Thank <laughs> you for the nice introduction, my goodness, man. It's what a so, pleasure to be here. It's so good to see you. Man, good to be seen, good. you know? Yeah, yeah, Looking forward for a good time. Yeah, yeah, this will be fun. Um, uh, you and I had a uh, talk mm -hmm. uh, a couple days ago, yesterday? Yes, yesterday. Recently yesterday. Yes. They just cram together. <laughs> okay. When you drink straight through them, the days <laughs> don't uh, really have ends. Uh, <laughs> we talked, and uh, I was asking you, like, what you're excited about, what mm -hmm. you like about, mm -hmm. and the first thing you brought up was margaritas. Oh, yeah. So I figured, why not? Let's you and I attack some margaritas. Let's take it down. I love it. Yeah. Uh, now, you and I have uh, different styles uh, uh, in bartending. You do a lot of, uh, like, events, right? Uh -huh. Like Correct. You, so, um, are you doing events and, like, creating the cocktails for the events? Well, I'm kind of like uh, brainstorming, yeah. creating ideas, yeah. creating names, yeah. thinking of ingredients, and then just throwing it in the pot and serving it, you know? I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, yeah uh, you guys can't see this yet, but there is so much more color uh, <laughs> down here on your side. Like, there's blues and pinks and yes. oranges and greens. Mine. Yeah all just yellows, just all different okay. shades of yellow. So Best of uh, both worlds. Best of both worlds, that's exactly it. Um, I figured, let's just chat about what we're even making. Okay. The margarita. Oh yeah. The margarita is, uh, it's in the class of cocktail called the Daisy, uh, which uh, it became a Daisy because when we used to add triple sec or orange liqueur to an old fashioned or any cocktail, mm -hmm. it be called it became a fancy cocktail. Correct. We say that it's, the, it's fancy. Uh -huh. uh, they, can I have a, uh, they would say, oh, no, 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 I'd like a, an old fashioned, but give it to me, I'd like a whiskey <laughs> sling, but give it to me fancy. And so they would take a little orange liqueur uh -huh. and they throw it in there. Yeah. Eventually it got uh, telephoned mm -hmm. into, instead of fancy, it became Daisy. Okay. So fancy, 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 Daisy, 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 mm -hmm. Daisy, Daisy. Mm -hmm. uh, eventually, uh, the Daisy made its way down to Mexico, and they started making this thing called the Tequila Daisy. That's interesting, man. Yeah, right? Isn't that crazy? So it's mm. the Tequila Daisy, okay. and uh, that sounds boring. That's a, like what? That doesn't that doesn't like elicit any kind of like uh, escapism. Right. So they looked for the Spanish word for uh, for Daisy. Do you know what that is? Margarita. It is margarita. Let's go, man. <laughs> sure makes a lot of noise what he's talking about. It is absolutely margarita. So uh, that's how we got there. Yes. Uh, so really all it is is it's a sour cocktail mm -hmm. that has some orange liqueur in it. Hmm. That's how we came about uh, to finding this thing. All right. Um, uh, skip forward. So I'm going to start with my drink first okay. if you guys don't mind. I want to make what I think is the best version of the margarita, which is actually not a daisy at all. We take that orange liqueur right out of it. This is created by a dude named Julio. Julio, Julio Bermejo. Bermejo? Bermejo. Okay. His parents own a place up in San Francisco mm. called Tommy's. Mm. Um, Tommy's is the large, they have the largest selection of uh, a 100% puro de agave okay. tequila okay. outside of Mexico mm. in the whole world. So Mexico, in San Francisco. <laughs> obviously, they're number one. <laughs> obviously, yeah, it's like Mexico in San Francisco. That's exactly what it is. They own they own this little they own this restaurant, mm -hmm. but it's like tequila head. Are you a fan? Like, do you uh, yeah, I love yeah. tequila? Man. Yeah, yeah. Tequila's a go-to. You can make so many cocktails with it. You yeah. Know? Why not? What do you do when you shoot? Like when you go out to when you go out and take shots? Uh, I would go with a reposado. Yeah. But or... is it always tequila? Like if you walk yeah. up, somebody's like, "Hey, Sir Mix, I'm gonna buy you a drink. I'm gonna buy you a shot. What do you want?" I would say tequila for sure, yeah, there man. We go, there we go. You can't go wrong with tequila. That's you right. know, a nice, good reposado or añejo. Yeah. Really nice and smooth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you find that it's, uh, you know, some people say that like it puts the fight in them. Does tequila put the fight in you? I guess it really depends on who you are, but you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> who nah. you're with, maybe. Yeah, or that too. <laughs> nah. My, uh, we have a joke in, in my house. Uh, my wife, uh, a sip of scotch, mm -hmm. and she is fighting. Mm. And now that you bring it up, it may not, it may be me. It may be that she just wants to fight me. Okay, so I'm gonna make the Tommy's margarita. All right. What Tommy wanted to do was mm -hmm. instead of hiding the tequila, because, you know, back in the day, tequila was 
awful. Mm-hmm. Tequila's so good now, why right. would we hide it? Uh-huh. He wants to sort of bring the tequila up and make that a uh, make make that the, the story of the show. Got it. Cool. Such a trendy drink. Such a trendy drink. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, some people call it the skinny margarita, but I mm-hmm. I really feel like that's unfair and okay. really I, I I feel like that's a a horrible thing to call this clean cocktail. margarita. Clean margarita, or uh, let's just normalize a uh, uh, Tommy's. Let's just call it Tommy's margarita. Okay. We're gonna start over here with two ounces of tequila. Now I think Julio probably did an ounce and a half, but. It's my show. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, keep going. Keep yeah going. I'm gonna keep, keep going. going. We'll do just a little tequila pour. There we so, go. No rules here. There are t- t- there are actually no rules here. Uh, it turns out you can just make them up as you go. Okay. Uh, we're gonna take one of these limes right here. Now I cut my limes like this in order to get the most juice out of them. This little guy right here. This is the structure of the lime. Right. He keeps all that uh, that lime uh, juice in. So we're just gonna squeeze the juice of one lime. Okay. Oh, shoot, drop that in there. Nothing wrong with a little more flavor. There's nothing wrong with a little more flavor. You know, Especially the, lime juice when it comes to tequila. Well, and most of the flavor of the lime is actually not in the juice. It's actually on the peel. Peel, of course. So you get all of any that. Any fruit. Any fruit. Mm-hmm. The flavor of lime is not the juice. It's the outside, it's those right. oils. That's what you're looking uh-huh. for, so. Core. That's, what, that's the core. That's the baby. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, just in the theory of drinking, a little sour, okay, a little sweet, a little sour, a little sweet, and a little booze. That's that's how you balance a cocktail, uh-huh. right? You balance cocktails course, all the time. Yeah, a little sour, a little sweet. Mm-hmm. Sometimes instead of sour, it's bitter, but right. it's always uh, something a little harsh, something a little smooth, mm-hmm. and then something a little boozy. We have to find a sweetener. Tasty combination. That's right. You got to find. Yeah, that's exactly you it. Got to find that tasty combination. Why? People that try and reinvent the cocktail mm-hmm. all the time are ridiculous. It's been reinvented. Just leave it it alone. Live, yeah, that's right. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave the cocktail alone. Mm -hmm. Um, So we need to find a sweetener. Okay. Why wouldn't we, instead of going against the flavors, let's go with the flavors. Okay. Of course, agave is what tequila is made out of. It's made of blue Weber agave. Mm -hmm. We have some blue Weber uh, agave (laughs) syrup here. Can't go wrong with that. You can't. Why would you? How could you? Mm -hmm. We're gonna take some of this now. How do you like your margarita? Do you like a little sour, a little sweet? Uh, like right in the middle. Yeah, right? We're gonna go half an ounce uh, to about an ounce of sweet, but three quarters of an ounce I feel like is the sweet spot that gives us about two, three quarter, three quarter. Okay. Let's get this going. That's it. That's that whole margarita. Sounds good already. It sounds good, right? Sounds good already. Yeah, I mean, listen. (laughs) No slouch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're gonna give this a big shake. Uh, Tammy likes to dance. Do you want to dance? Let's go. All right. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Everybody else has always said no. I like that you're saying yes. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> shake, shake, shake. Shake that shaker. <laughs> shake that shaker. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake that shaker. <laughs> Very nice. Um. Do you, I, now this was in the bartending world. You and I, like I said, we come from different different realms of this. Do, in the in the event world, do people still yell shake weight at you all the time? Shake weight is the flab busting breakthrough that trims your arms and shapes your shoulders at the same time. Oh my gosh, I can feel the definition already. That's a real workout. You just shake it back and forth. There's no motor, no batteries, and you get the results you want. I'm feeling it in my chest and my biceps and my triceps. This is like a 13, 14, 15 year old commercial. Uh, They still yell shake weight at us uh, constantly as if nobody's ever heard that. Let's give this a little... Lime wheel. Little lime wheel. No salt on a Tommy's margarita. Nice no, and clean. Nice and clean. Nice and clean. It's what we're looking for mm-hmm. is the tequila. Right. So you put some salt on it. Right. You're hiding that tequila. Of I'm gonna pass this uh, down to you. Okay. You can give that a little. Oh, gonna spill it all over the place. Oh, that's but all right. That's how we do it. Uh, give that a taste. That is a Tommy's margarita. In my opinion, yeah, that, it was a nice pour until I, I overdid it a touch. Oh, that's amazing, man. It's good, right? Oh, that's so refreshing, man. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. Like, no lie. Yeah. The balance is on point. Mm. You still taste the tequila. Love it. That's great, man. It's yeah. nice and cold. Yeah. That was your Presentation song. Presentation as well. Thank you very much. Oh. You did that, man. I did it. Seriously, this I is good. That. This is I did really do that. good. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Well, 
Well, I like having you on here. <laughs> I like being here. All right. Great. Uh, so yeah, the idea here, of course, is now we have uh, we have accentuated the tequila. The tequila is the main uh, point, but uh -huh. that's not always the most important thing. Uh, sometimes we will, uh, you know, we want to do different stuff with tequila. You have uh, brought, now, you, uh, you're dealing with stuff that I don't normally deal with, so I'm very excited okay. to see uh, what you have in store for us uh, with your twists on the margarita. Okay. I noticed you have a big old blue bottle down there, which yes, I have I not do. seen in a while. Can we, so, this is a liquor that I have not seen in quite some time. Showing my age today. Well, and honestly, yeah, me too. I, uh, this was like the biggest thing mm -hmm. for a long time. Hypnotic. Right. Incredible Hulk. The Incredible Which would Hulk. be Hypnotic and Hennessy. That's right. Ooh, Equal flavorful. parts, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes. Good stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you make a lot of those? Uh, not really recently, yeah. but like if I'm at home, yeah. Yeah. You know, but not at events, you know. I need sure. to bring it back, man, because it's still there. Now, when you say events, you, uh, oh, we were talking earlier. You mm -hmm. were working at you were working at uh, it's now called Crypto.com, but we Correct. all know what we're talking about. Staples we're talking Center. about Staples Center, of yes. course. <laughs> um, uh, you're working at those spots. What's the like? What's the the biggest cocktail you're selling? Like, what's what are people asking for constantly? A lot of mules. Yeah. Um, a lot of whiskey sours. Sure. Uh, margaritas, of course. Yeah. You know, on a hockey night, it could be. Um, Old fashions. Huh. The and hockey drinkers drink differently. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Because they're so cold, probably. Right. Yeah. So they just want something <laughs> nice, neat, and something that's going to keep you warm with yeah. not too much ice, you know? Huh. Straight to it, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> huh, that's crazy. All right. I yeah. love that. What's the ABV on it? 17? 17%. In my house, we call that juice, but I, I do love that. We call that we call that breakfast is what we call that. But uh, juicy juice, huh? yeah, it's very juicy. Like a Capri Sun in a bottle. <laughs> That's very similar. Okay, so you are uh, you're going to show us how to make a hypnotic margarita. Very good, very flavorful. This yep. is seventeen percent of alcohol, so of course we're going to add a little bit more to it. You know, <laughs> try to create a good balance. This is very flavorful, though. Um, you could pretty much mix this with a lot of things. You How know, would you describe the flavor of Hypnotic? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know um, uh, that many people that have like gone like, like went through a Hypnotic phase. I went through a Hypnotic phase. Mm -hmm. um, but like, how would you describe uh, Hypnotic? Uh, tropical vodka yeah. with a hint of cognac. Yeah. And some fresh juices. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's a that's. That's a lot of flavors. Yeah, it is combining. a lot of flavors. You, know? you got <laughs> vodka, you got cognac, you got sounds tropical like a car wreck. fruit juice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that just sounds like Pretty everybody con yeah, converging in Kinda the same Kind of like adios way. almost, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah, very close. But not as uh, potent. Sure. Yeah, so Much let's get into potent. this hypnotic margarita. Yeah, let's get into it. Let's go with a half ounce on this one. Half ounce of half some... Half ounce of hypnotic. Hypnotic. Oof. You know, let's go with another half well, ounce. Well, I mean, well, what are we doing? Are we playing around today? Let's go. That would make a full ounce, of course. One full ounce of hypnotic, everybody. All right, triple sec. Yeah. Have it here. Yeah, we got some. Uh, We're gonna some go with half ounce of that. Yeah. Quantro and a half. Quantro is a uh, is a type of triple sec. That's that there, and a little sweet and sour. Okay. I'm gonna go with about. About an ounce and a half. An ounce and a half of sweet and sour. Sweet and sour, just a mix of lemon and lime juice. Correct. Uh, yeah, love it. How much tequila? One and a half ounce. One and a half ounces of just regular old tequila. Just regular, uh, Reposado. 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 I love it. That's yeah, gonna be good. Shake, shake, shake baby. Shake. shake, shake, baby. Shake, shake, baby. Right. Now what we're hoping for, uh -huh. obviously in this one, is that it comes out uh, blue. How much tequila did you put in there? I put uh, one and a half ounce. Great. Yeah, and I'm uh, gonna rim this glass. Ooh. I'm gonna go with some blue sugar to give it more of a blue pop. Yeah. You know, so I have my sugar here. Yeah. Got some blue coloring. Why not? Couple, couple drops of couple, that. Couple yeah. drops. I don't want it too dark. Right. I'm gonna mix this up a little okay. bit. Get a nice consistent color in there. Yeah, love it. Yeah, you're looking like Cookie Monster in a jar now. <laughs> It does. That actually, you nailed the color. 
You nailed the color. That is Cookie Monster in a jar. Cookie Monster in a jar. Rim that glass with Rim our professional glass. rimming. Uh, that seems like it's just uh, crappy styrofoam plates from the uh, cafeteria near us. <laughs> that is professional rimming material. That's what she said. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is very blue. <laughs> Okay, uh, so we have our blue, got the blue uh, rim going. Our baby blue going. That is quite a baby blue rim. Yes, it is. Yeah, that is something so, else. Now I'm just gonna serve this basically just straight up. Yeah. No ice. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, it's got that blue tint, that hypnotic tint. What a good name, by the way. And hypnotic. What a good pour too. Yeah, nailed it. Yeah. Competition. I think I could have did a little better on the rimming, but you know what? It is what it is. You know, it if is... you're licking it off, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> That's what she said. I'm oh. gonna garnish that with a lime, of course. Of course. Can't go wrong with a lime with a margarita. How could you? you can never. Lime wheels are very fashionably trendy. Yeah. So I'm gonna take a lime wheel. They're the thing. Stick this on the side. Love it. And voila, you have your hypnotic margarita. Et voila, look at it. Rimmed in blue sugar. Ooh, la, that I made la. from scratch. <laughs> it's not how it looks, it's how it tastes. That's always what the deal is. It's not how it looks, it's how it tastes. Let you me taste it. it. Yeah, I think so. Let's go. Let's get in here. Yeah, the hypnotic is uh, the star of that show. Okay. No doubt about it. The hypnotic, uh, the hypnotic comes through. It is a very, very tropical. Uh, it, it's just a, it's a tropical margarita. I'm, oh, I'm shocked good. actually that more tiki drinks don't use uh, hypnotic. Right, like those mm -hmm. like you get those big blue flavors. Yeah, I can blue. see that. Yeah, I can see that. Hmm. Why not? Why not? I think that could have used a little bit more tequila, but it's not bad. Well, I mean. The, yeah, if you're gonna judge every drink by thinking you use more <laughs> liquor, you're gonna you're gonna have a lot of time. That's true. A lot of time uh, to think to yourself. Well done. Thank you. I have a bar back that lives at my house. His name is Kyle. Oh, that's cool. It's Bartending awesome. a bar back. What a combination. Right? Well, listen, especially when you live that close, you know. Well, he's uh he lives in my backyard. He takes okay. care of my trees. He's a, a really uh, he's an interesting character. He was a guest on the show one time. All right. Uh, really kind of an interesting dude. Um, he. Uh, wanted to start growing dragon fruit. You ever had dragon fruit? Yes. Yeah, really a nice kind of interesting flavor. Mm. We're growing dragon fruit right now, okay. and we're getting two different varieties. All right. We're getting pink, mm. and we're getting white. Really? So I wanted to make a, a frozen dragon fruit margarita. That sounds delicious. But I wanted to get both varieties in okay. here, so we can build All right. uh, so from there. So you're gonna there. layer it. We're gonna layer this guy. Okay. We're gonna layer it in a few different layers. So um, whenever we make a frozen margarita or frozen anything, right. uh, if you have the time, better always to prepare a day in uh -huh. advance. So this is what we're gonna be making. Preparation mixing is key. Preparation is key. Preparation is all it's about. Yes, yeah. it is. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna start here. We're gonna grab some of these. Why don't we just squeeze these this time? Uh, I'm gonna grab my so, knife back from you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Right there, we're gonna just squeeze two of these limes so here. Dragon fruit margarita, man. This yeah. Is, this is interesting because this is not your everyday margarita. You know? No, for sure. Let alone is frozen. Right. Yeah, yeah. The frozen margarita is my favorite way to do a margarita. Okay. You know, um, uh, you ever been to a, a, a restaurant called Islands? Islands yes. Burgers. Yes. Yes. I. I think that I would probably just like live. I think I might just like set up a little <laughs> camp inside there and drink little their- tent, huh? Yeah, just a little tent, <laughs> hang out, have their big kahuna burger. They have some okay fries, I guess, but then their margarita is so good. So I've always been looking for how to get that consistency mm -hmm. that they do. And so did they make this uh, particular margarita? This is not theirs. No, oh, okay. this is a guy named Dave Arnold. Oh, okay. Uh, he is the, uh, he's the, the, he's like the, it's like a science geek, uh, basically, of, of mixing. He, okay. he wrote a book called Liquid Intelligence. Hmm. Uh, he and I share the same passion for uh, that type of margarita. I see. Uh, so he ended up figuring this one out, which uh, thank goodness he did because it uh, helped me out a ton. So I didn't have to do all the experiments. We're gonna take a little triple sec. Okay. Right here. Just gonna throw in about an ounce and a touch more. So like we're looking for like an ounce and a quarter okay. of triple sec. This is cool. I like how you build it in the back too. This is really cool. Yeah, it ends up it, it, really it just cool. it ends up really really helping out the uh, the uh, the margarita. Uh -huh. um, here we go. We got to take uh, our tequila and I'm going to be putting in about 4 ounces. Mm. Tequila. This is obviously you're not going to make one of these. You're going to make 
these for a few people. Right. So we're gonna make about four ounces of this. Do you usually pour more liquor into uh, frozen drinks or less? Um, yeah, probably more. Uh huh. It's tough I tend to say. To pour more. I tend to pour more liquor in everything, though, so that's <laughs> kind of my issue. You can't go wrong. Yeah, yeah uh, I'd rather make you a strong drink than a weak drink, right? Right, exactly. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's exactly right. So we have this now. Um, uh, so Mixlet, I do have a, uh, I have a confession to make. Okay. I forgot something today. I forgot What's to that? bring the uh, the juice from the dragon fruit. So we're gonna be doing a small substitution. That's okay. No huge deal. Instead of that, we're gonna be using pomegranate Let's juice. Let's go. I'm sure it's still gonna taste good. It's still gonna taste good. Now, really, this is gonna change it a little bit That's all right. uh, because we don't want any sugar. Uh, we don't want any added sugar, and I believe that there is added sugar into this. I think we had enough sugar. 100 percent pomegranate. Oh, from from pomegranate. Maybe you know what? Maybe not. Um, if you can find a juice from something that's really, um, really watery, like cucumber. Okay. Like if you, if you uh, do that, or cucumber, or dragon fruit. Okay. That's the best, because what we need this to do is we need to have this thing freeze. Got it. So the less adulterant you can add in there, we need that, because we know liquor doesn't freeze in a normal freezer. Of course. Um, so we need to have something that's gonna freeze, so that's, um, that's why we're adding dilute this juice. Dilute it a little bit. We're gonna dilute it a little bit. Yeah, exactly. So that the, that water will freeze. So that instead of having to shake anything or mm -hmm. add ice later, mm -hmm. ice is so difficult to deal with in a blender. Course, uh, course. We're gonna do that. So we have that. And then one last little thing that I don't know if everybody uh, uh, knows uh, to do: salt water freezes slower right. than uh, regular water, than non-salt water. Uh, and so since we don't want this to freeze solid, uh -huh. we're gonna put a little salt water in here, and okay. then we're gonna close this most of the way, get as much of the air out of here mm -hmm. as we can, till it gets right there up to the top. Give that a close the rest of the way, and we're gonna put that in the freezer, okay. nice and flat. Mm -hmm. The flatter it is, the faster it'll freeze. Correct. You don't wanna be waiting days. Yeah for this thing to go. You don't want uh, it all clumped up either. Well, yeah, you don't want it all clumped up until you get this. Mm. This right here Ta -da! is the <laughs> yeah, movie magic. Yes. <laughs> this is the end result. Okay. Uh, that is what we want. Now, this has been sitting out for a minute, so it has become um, somewhat slushy already. Okay. If you pull it out and it's like, uh, it's hard. <laughs> You can put it into a blender uh, uh. and blend that up. Now, I'm gonna put mine in a blender just a little bit. I feel like this one is good, but I wanna blend this one just a touch. Okay. Uh, and since Tammy isn't here, uh, uh, our, our friend Tammy is, uh, she's the queen of the blender. She loves blending everything. Uh. That's all she ever wants to do is just, she's, she's like, like frozen drinks, huh? She's like, I, I gotta blend. She comes right in the in the place. She's like, I, where's the blender? I gotta get on the blender. It's time to blend me. You would think she have a personal blender, huh? Come yeah, yeah, with it. I, I, no I, purse, you know just a blender. That's huh? right. She just carries her blender everywhere she goes. Yeah, she is a, uh, uh, she's a blended fool. Uh, we we uh, will often call her that. I'll uh, put this here, mm -hmm. put this on soup. That, that's the exact consistency I'm looking for. So, so help you blend. from here, I just want to grab this right here. Right. And we are going and to And that just, is the white dragon fruit, This right? is the white dragon fruit. Okay. And the other one is the pink dragon fruit. Okay. This one is a little bit more sour. You know what? We're gonna, we're gonna blend them both. Why not? We got nowhere to be. Let me just find this. Sure. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna okay. blend them both because uh, the consistency of that is so perfect. Blend them both. Back up here, huh? blend the white dragon fruit too. There we go. Good stuff, and this is fresh dragon fruit from your garden, this right? This is fresh dragon fruit from the garden. Can't get better than that. No, 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 certainly not. It's so hard. That's what she said. <laughs> To grow dragon fruit, I bet. because uh, first of all, it's a cactus. You ever seen what Correct. dragon? It like it, it uh -huh. looks like Got it's the thorns uh, hanging out, thorns outside. and everything. Oh yeah, terrifying. <laughs> uh, and also, it's it's nighttime pollinating. Is it? Yes, and unless you want to attract bats mm. and night moths to your uh, to your back, backyard, to your backyard, nah. which of course, no, nah, we no, we don't want that. Why would, no. why would we want that? So instead, uh, my wife and I have to go out with Q-tips. 
okay. and pollinated ourselves. Really? Yes, it's the adorable. Details. Yes, I. She said, my wife. My wife said, uh, do you mind pollinating that thing? Uh, just run outside, and I said, yeah, of course. Why and then, not? like minutes later, she yelled at me that uh, I had to put my pants back on. I was trying to pollinate it. <laughs> the only way I know how to pollinate. Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, apparently, that's not the way to do it. So uh, now, all we're gonna do is we're gonna start to. We're gonna to start to mix this so that we can get a nice blend so that we can have two different drinks going at go. two different times. Is it sinking to the bottom? There we go. Pour a little white here on top. Mm -hmm. A little mix and match. Yeah, a little mix and match so that we can get both flavors of the dragon fruit. The dragon fruit. Well, that looks great already. So we got man. this really nice, like multicolored uh -huh. cocktail I see it. running through. I want to put on looks here. It's nice and wavy. It's wavy, right? Yeah. yeah. It's nice and yeah, wavy. Yeah, I feel like most people would enjoy that at least a little bit. Of course. Um, I'm going to put this on here and just cut there. Oh, a lemon peel, huh? A little lemon peel. What made you go with a lemon peel? You know, it's the only one we had left. <laughs> <laughs> just go with it, baby. Yeah. I mean, you think that there's just some, go with it. You think that there's some thought put into this, but so, it was the last second. Is there anything different that you would garnish it with if you didn't? Yeah. I mean, you know what would be really nice? What's that? Dragon fruit. Of course. Yeah, I mean, like, if course. I was thinking about it. Of course. Yeah, I didn't even think about how much dragon fruit actually looks like a dragon, mm -hmm. which is what I'm going for here. Um, I'm just going to uh, throw this little guy right through here. Okay. Um, this is a toothpick. I'm going to throw the dragon right in here. And then I am going to give him a little give fire. Give a little torch. Yeah, right? Hey. So there we go. Now we have. Uh, listen, guys. It's a dragon without fire, right? Right, exactly. There we go. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey. There dragon we go. Flame. Baby. There is our dragon. dragon. Flame. So, that uh, right here is the dragon fruit double, uh, the double dragon margarita. Double is dragon what I'm calling margarita. It. Yeah, because it's two different types of dragon fruit. Margarita. Put that right there. You have mm -hmm. that uh, for you. Yeah, the little, uh, little fire, little ice. Fire and ice. Yeah, huh? right. Best of both worlds. Now let's give this a try. Yeah, yeah. This guy put some effort into this, man. Yeah. Oh, this is smooth. This is smooth. Yeah. You know, I'm not really into the frozen drinks, but this sure. is pretty good. You Thank know? you. Yeah, the fresh dragon fruit and yeah. um, compliments the tequila. Like, who would have thought to put like frozen dragon fruit mm. with tequila? and then blend it, man. So well done. Thank you, I appreciate well that. Well done, this is good. <laughs> nice. Where can people find you? People can find me on Instagram at SirMixalot82. That is S-U-R-M-I-X-A-L-O-T. Number's 82. Give me this one more of good. these. Right there, baby, right, right really there. Good. We, got, we, got a good, uh, we got a good high five system going. Yes, sir. That is it, guys. If you want, you please, uh, uh, you can follow us over uh, here on YouTube. We're also on, uh, I think we're on Twitch. I think we're on Twitter. I think we're on, uh, maybe on Rumble, on Kick. I don't think we're on those ones yet. Uh, but over on Instagram uh, as well, we also have a Patreon. You want to find that Patreon. That's super helpful for us. Uh, and beyond that, just keep liking, subscribing, and sharing all of our posts. The more you share, the more... So that's it. Uh, that's it. Hey, man, I want to thank you guys for yeah. having me. Today was successful. Yep. Really good, man. We made some really great drinks. Yep. Thanks for inviting me. You know, I look forward to coming in again. Love and, um, man, we rocked this, Scott. We did. We uh, had a good time, We man. did, too. We, we did. really did. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, we'll be back uh, very soon with Tammy uh, in the meanwhile. Hi, I am, Tammy. I am Scott Cushman. This is Sir Mix-a-Lot with a U. With a U. And we will see you guys next time. Cheerio! Yay! Yeah.